Welcome to part 4. In this video, we will explore files and images in discord.gd. Currently we have a command handler with a few commands. So let's add a new command called file. First, I will show you how to send a local image file. For this we need to read the file using, file.open method. Here I will use the Gato logo icon. Then we need to get the raw bytes as a pool byte array for this we use the get buffer method. In the documentation, this is all mentioned. The send method supports sending files. Each file must have a name, media type and data. You can find the media type by searching online. The media type for PNG files is image slash PNG. Once we have the bytes we can send the file. In the options add a files key which is an array. In that you can add a single or multiple files. Mention the name, media type and data for the file. Let's try it out. You can send other file types too like text files. Only make sure you enter the correct media type. Here I will send a text file. Now I will show you how to send a screenshot of the scene. First I will add some nodes to the scene. For this we use the get viewport method to get the current viewport, then get texture and get data. To get the image data. We then need to use the method save PNG to buffer to get the raw bytes.
let's run it. As you can see the Gato game scene output is set. Now I will show you how to edit a sent file. For this we first use yield to get the sent message. Then we load the new image, here I will use the Gato icon. There are code samples in the documentation if you don't want to type everything out. Since we want to edit the original image we need to first delete it using the method slice attachments. Then we use bot.edit to send the new image. So in short, we send an image, then we yield the send, then get the bytes of the new image, then delete the old image, then edit with the new image. Do join the Discord server if you have any question. If you don't use slice attachments, the new image will be added to the message instead of replacing the old image. To send multiple files, pass both files in the files key. Now I will show you how to get images from Discord. Like avatar and guild icon.
To get the avatar, use the method get display avatar. Make sure to use yield to. Here I use it on message.author which is the user. You can specify other options like format, size and dynamic. There are code snippets too. Once we have the bytes you can either send it back to Discord, or you can use it as a texture in Gato. As you can see the bot sent my own avatar. Let's get the guild icon too. For this we use bot.get guild icon and pass in the guild ID. Let's use this guild icon in our Gato scene. I will add a texture rec to see the image. To use the image in Gato, we need to convert the bytes to a texture. For this we use two functions, helpers.toPNG image and to image texture. Then we can set the texture to our texture. At the start there is no image. Once we run the command the image is loaded. That's it for this video, like and comment. Also subscribe for future videos.